great hiding place. What the? Oh god. Okay, it's been three weeks since filming. Um, right, I got myself to level 27 and 26. Um, it didn't take me three weeks, I just had trouble filming because I just got back to school and such so as. Sorry about that. That's why I haven't uploaded a, in a few days. Um, alright, anyway, it is obviously time for a boss battle. If you are playing Time and Darkness, this will be a Luxray tribe. The, the chief will be Luxray, and there'll be loads of Luxios around, but in Explosive Sky, they decided to change it to uh, Mainetric and Electric for whatever reason. Uh, it, it can be a very annoying battle if you're a little under leveled. Um, feel free to use a Violent Seed um, if you have them. I don't. I, I have a few items. I got those in the dungeon. I'm just gonna throw a sleep seed for the hell of it. Uh. What? Yeah. Oh, screw it. I don't care. Um. It is quite an annoying battle, but if you're re a, a decent level, I wouldn't worry too much because my quick attack can one-hit KO them easily. Not if they miss like that. And they really won't do much damage to either of us. They will do damage to Elekid because that Elekid was level 16. And wow! I just. Oh, I did better than I thought it would actually. Hundreds? Uh, when I was. When I first went through this and I was training, I was doing like 40 to these. Die. Yeah, so the main trick is. Got a fair amount of hit points on it, but it really isn't that difficult um, if you're this level. If you're 20, you may struggle. Depends what Pokemon you have. It's better to have a Pokemon that has a move that does an area of effect, hits a lot of Pokemon at once, or has a long range effect. Quick attack should be fine though. But it's, mm, it depends what level you are, really. What comes down to that. I always liked this dungeon as an opportunity to train. Anyway. Ah! What the? It's Dusknor. How could we forget? It is why we're here.
Good question. Where? I should have known. In fact, I did know because I played through this game before. And I actually thought it was obvious the first time I played through this game. I mean, who else? He even talks like it in the ransom notes. Cowards. Yay. <clears throat> yeah, we could have taken them. Occasionally I have these visions, kind of like from That's So Raven. Dimensional Scream? How could I forget? Yep, human. My name? That's my name. Did I just... Did he just... Did he just hide the faintest of smiles? Was that just me? Dimensional scream. Of course, in Japanese, it probably wasn't called something that cool. It's always that way. There's some pelipers on the top screen and it's not really worth showing. Yes, Bidoo. Alright, let's go.
What? Another one? Where was it stolen from this time? It wasn't. It was. The time gear from Fogbound Lake. <gasps> How can that be? Hey! That was uncalled for. Well, it is a bit of a coincidence. Oh, crap. Is Yuxi all right? Whatever. Because Magnazone is invincible after all. <laughs> and then someone's like, How's the invincible? You can clearly see him. <laughs> so this Pokemon goes by the name of Grovile. There's a wanted poster of him on the top screen. Again, not worth showing. Oh god. Ah! Okay. You won't let any more time gears be stolen. It won't happen. Why wouldn't he? It's the time gears we're talking about. Hooray! <sighs> 